50 years is a long time between red cards. Colin Meads at Murrayfield in Scotland in 1967. Sonny Bill Williams at Wellington on Saturday night. Meads didn't actually get a red card. In those days, they just pointed at the sideline and sent you on your way. But he was given his marching orders for recklessly aiming a kick very near Scotland's David Chisholm after having been twice warned for overzealous rucking. Pine Tree was sent from the field. Now, the All Blacks captain that day was Sir Brian Lahore. We asked him a short time ago the difference between Pine Tree sending off and Sonny Bill's red card on Saturday night? I don't think there's any comparison. I, I, you know, I, I'm not, I, I don't want to get into a, a slagging match with what happened on, on Saturday, but what I do know is that uh, Collins was uh, never meant to uh, hurt, hurt the guy, and, and in fact, he never did. He kicked at the ball, and the, and the halfback was in, in the road, and it looked from the referee's vantage point that, that he kicked at the player. And uh, he uh, he ordered him off on that on 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 what he what he thought he saw. But the player concerned. There was a halfback came into our dressing room after the game and said, "Look, I'm sorry. He didn't even, you know, kick me." And Saturday night, what did you make of that? Oh, that you know, it was clumsy. I think, um, you know, spur of the moment decision, I guess. Uh, and uh, and it was uh, it looked bad and and it was clumsy. The thing I'm fascinated by, and, I, and lots of people are talking about this, is it's been 50 years between All Blacks being sent off. And I remember, and I'm sure you do too, acts that really looked like, uh, f for want of a better term, thuggery. It, why is it so rare for people to be sent from the field in rugby? Well, I don't think people want, you know, if, you, if you're a referee, you really wouldn't want to send somebody off in, in, the, in the, a test match. Uh, it makes it uneven, of course. Uh, you know, 14 against 15 is, is pretty tough. Um, luckily, in our case, in 67, it was pretty much late in the game, um, and we we had reasonable control, so it didn't affect uh, the result. But you know, I, I you can't tell whether it affected the result on Saturday night or not. But it certainly didn't help the All Blacks at all. No, it didn't help the All Blacks. Although, gosh, the lines were good on Saturday, and I think this discussion has meant that we haven't probably acknowledged that as explicitly as perhaps we need to. I thought they played very well. They played a lot better than they did uh, in the first test. Uh, I expected them to do that. I expected the All Blacks to be better than they were in the first test. But, you know, up to the point where Sonny Bill got, got uh, ordered off, um, you know, we hadn't probably played quite or didn't have quite the control we did have in, in the first test. But in saying that, they had a very good period in the first 20 minutes of the second half, yeah, they which did. looked as if it was going to be a, a sufficient to uh, save the game. But, uh, you know, as the game wears on, 14 against 15 gets harder and harder. What does this do to Sonny Bill Williams' reputation? And I suspect you are not a big Twitter user and possibly not even a Facebook user, and so you may have missed the discussion about him on social media, but some of it is pretty tough. Does this define him forevermore as an All Black? I hope it doesn't. I, I'm sure he's uh, upset that, with what he did. Uh, I don't think he's a, he's a thug. I've never seen him in that role ever before. No, and, and yes, I don't have uh, Facebook or, or <laughs> um, all the other... Twitter, yep. Twitter stuff. Um, yeah, I, 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 I feel sorry for him. As I say, it was a, a spur of the moment uh, decision that, that he made. It may have probably in some ways gone back to the days when he played league uh, and, and they were allowed to do that sort of thing. But, uh, you know, it's, it, it certainly hurt the All Blacks. Uh, we are coming up to an extraordinary game on Saturday night at Eden Park. One all from a best of three series. Who's going to win it, do you think? <laughs> $64,000 quiz. Yeah, it is. Um, well, it's probably well, great. Think... We haven't got $64,000. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's, go it, it's certainly uh, going to be an interesting game. I couldn't pick a, an absolute winner at this stage. I've, I'm sure the All Blacks will be doing a lot of uh, thinking and working uh, during the week, and uh, they have a, have a good, uh, I, I suppose, very good record at Eden Park, but records don't really make a, a lot of difference to the result of the game, in my opinion. It's going to be a good one, isn't it? Yeah, that was great. I, there won't be many not watching it.